For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Terry Matson with Code Pink. I'm talking to you today from Pereira, Colombia. Uh, I am here with um, the Misión Internacional de Solidaridad y Observación de Derechos Humanos. I'm one of five teams that uh, has been placed around the country. We are currently in Bogota, Cali, Medellín, Papayán, and here in Pereira. So we have been here since the 25th of May and we're seeing a lot and it's really uh, a little difficult to share all this with you. I've seen so much uh, in the media, the US media, as well as the foreign press. There is nothing quite like being here so uh, where we are stationed, we have met with students, human rights attorneys, and families of assassinated uh, youth, in particularly uh, bodies used as false positives. We had a meeting with uh, those families this morning. It was um, pretty, pretty tough to take their testimonies and um, remain professional pretty moving what we heard from them and the photos and uh, family mementos that they shared. This afternoon, we went to a rally in, uh, in, the, in the town center, and it was a rally in solidarity with the Primera Linea. These are the people that are the front line, the first line of defense at rallies and in communities against the police, ESMA especially. It was a fantastic rally, large in numbers, a lot of music, a lot of celebration for solidarity with Primera Linea, but also the 30-day anniversary of the National Paro that started 28 April. So it was a tremendous event with a huge turnout until ESMA approached everyone. It was very, very overwhelming for the type of event that it was. It was large numbers, and peaceful and celebratory. And when the ESMA team arrived, it got quite violent very rapidly. It was, I think you could easily say, over oppression of the event. And I believe there's some video uh, to share of this with all of you. So I leave that with you. I hope to stay in touch while we're here. It's a uh, really quite frankly beyond anything you can imagine and i don't think that that is an exaggeration so thank you for uh for having me share my impressions with you and i'll talk to you soon